可以拍拍场景，可以用它拍拍场景。啊，我说这个这个这个摄像摄像机，摄像机是吧？ 
afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome uh, to the Yale China Association Fireside Chat. I'm so glad to see all of you here and you know, made it out in the middle of the day and uh, also uh, found the location, which is really always the first step to success is getting there, right? Showing up 80% of it. But we have a very, very special opportunity today uh, to welcome a special guest um, from Shandong, China. Uh, so this is not something that we see every day uh, at Yale China, but it's something that we really wanted to bring to this community. Uh, this fireside chat series is offered to the community. Um, we present the most interesting topics that we come across and the most interesting people we come across as we do our work on the ground in China. Uh, so Yale China has been around for 112 years and seven days. <laughs> <laughs> continues as it did uh, in the earliest days in education, in health, in public service, and in the arts. Uh, and that work is predominantly in China, uh, but again, this aspect of today's workshop uh, with the, the master artist um, Sun Dao Wei is to bring you someone we've come across to our community. Um, special thanks to Mr. Ding Tia Chang, uh, who is uh, a long-standing member of the Greater New Haven community, who introduced us to Mr. Sun to bring this opportunity to all of you. Just very briefly, what we'll do for the first hour, that would seem to be a very formal beginning, but in fact, we'll do this very informally over the next 50 minutes. Um, I want to introduce the artists who we have here from Sandong, China, as I mentioned. Um, Master Sven Dawei, welcome to Yao China. Master Sven was born in, in uh, Sandong province. He graduated from a very prestigious institution in the Central Academy of Arts and Design, which recently became a part of Tsinghua University, which many of you are very familiar with this life. He is a member of the China Artists Association and also is a teacher, a faculty member at the Sandong University. His work, as you see displayed here on the overhead, has been recognized by a number of institutions or organizations worldwide, including the National Art Museum of China, the Taiwanese Buddhist Association, the Chinese Military Museum, and many other renowned institutions in Asia. Uh, Mr. Sun is uh, going to present his work. We're going to show as he uh, shares some of his technique with all of us. Uh, we'll be able to show it on the overhead so we can see it very uh, formally here. Um, and he just wanted to share one aspect of his stay over the last week and a half was to visit and take a better look at Greater New Haven. Our suggestion to him was to look at East Rock and West Rock and look at the landscape of New Haven. Um, as a landscape artist, we thought that would be particularly interesting. This is, in fact, Mr. Swin's first trip to the U.S., and we're so privileged to have him join us with us today. Um, so please, informal, very informal, we'll have this time, about 50 minutes, and then we'll go into a presentation. He'll share some remarks and observations he's had over the last week and a half, and then we'll have an opportunity to ask our questions. Um, to the to Mr. Sun. So please join me in welcoming uh, Mr. Sun that way and I have my colleague by name. I've been here for more than 
20 years, but I've only, I'm sorry, I think you have more than 20 days, and the only um, thing I've learned in English is just ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know further on. <laughs> but I can share with you using my artistic language. Thank you all. Since it's a fireside chat, uh, I hope it's kind of informal. And if you have any question about Chinese painting, uh, please just ask them and see whether I can show you with my paintings. Perhaps we can have questions and have Master Sun. Uh, uh, Wonderful. You can actually suggest uh, um, uh, some uh, type of uh, artistic component that you can draw it for us, and then we can observe. And maybe we can have groups come up and, and observe. This should be very informal um, at this can point you? for Master Class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Ding is trying to be a model. Um, so maybe we can have these two rows come up first and observe the technique. Uh, and then we can keep switching out. Oh, yeah, you have a question. Um, could I have him talk about the materials he uses and why he uses yeah, the materials? Oh, okay, one and then particularly the brushes and why those shapes. Right. So why don't we have these two rows and then he can speak and, and, and answer that question. And then others can listen. Okay, so you trust it all then.
他说的非常非常非常专业是吧但是这个事情如果要到后来以后其实画家画到一定程度就是一种神经手艺再一个根据纸的大小选择你包但是有时候画的很拙的时候其实想说明一件事的话对比对对纸对任何东西都是不行的
，就是随心所欲，他墨谈到什么样的程度，根据墨分出来的这种，这种随行的这种感觉，然后再去，再去找他的一种，那个，找他的一种大事。I have a vague picture in my mind first, but then um, it spreads out uh, according to itself. Uh, I judge by how the beginning of the lines go and then uh, complement it with further paintings. Oh, yes. 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 O
share with this community um, in these uh, last 20 days here. And also, just to let you know that uh, Mr. Smith has been very generous in donating uh, those books to Yale China. Um, so if you're interested in his work, it has a collection of his amazing work. Um, and all proceeds go to Yale China's work in China. Um, so we're providing those for a $10 donation to the organization. So we're very, very grateful to Mrs. Swin for uh, that very generous aspect. So please encourage you if you'd like to take a look, and I'm sure he'll explain the cover image is one that's very familiar to all of us. And we'd love Mrs. Swin to also share how he came up with that cover image prior to visiting us here today. So without further, Mrs. Swin. Thank you, Nancy. 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 Thank Thank Annie and thank me. Good afternoon, everyone. 那个我不太适应像这种那个呃西方的这种演讲方式，但是我会尽量的能够做到让大家开心。I'm not very good at this kind of Western style formal speeches, but I hope that everybody here is happy with this experience. 这是我的，谢谢。This is my first time to America, and I'm so honored that my first stop here is at Yale. 再到康州这个很短的这几天之内，就是我发现康州的树非常美。And in these few days here at Connecticut, I find that the trees here are very beautiful. 很有趣，很很整齐。很少有人工雕琢的那种痕迹。They are very orderly and without much artificial man-made trimming. 嗯，对我来说就是这么简简单单有秩序的这种风。这是啊，这样说，这是我在那个在车上，在康州那个在来耶鲁的路上，车上拍了一张照片。然后后面这是我的画了一张这个耶鲁印象，哎，不是那个康州印象。These are the photos I took uh, in the car when I was here, and the other one on the left is my drawing uh, of my impression of Connecticut. 通过这件事啊，让我想到了西方好多绘画对自然的绘画的一种表达方式。And through this, uh, it reminds of me. Uh, it, it reminds me of the Western way of expressing how they view, they 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 see nature. 传统油画对自然表达是充满审美的，而且它是非常准确的一种构图。Traditional, 尽可能准确的构图。Traditional uh, oil painting is very aesthetic and it um, it's very precise. 任何的艺术发挥，变形也好，抽象也好，都是在形的基础上，然后。形的基础上，这种优美是全自然的、直观的，这是我的一个小小的看法。Uh, any artistic uh, expression, uh, like deformed um, deformation or abstraction, they are all based on the imitation of the shape. And this kind of beauty is all natural, very direct, and the viewer can appreciate without much artistic training. 这是我在我们耶鲁。This, uh, I like this painting very much by Picasso, uh, and this is at the Yale Art Center, the art gallery at Yale. Ah, Chinese some traditional painting, ah, because Chinese culture is very rich, Chinese painting influenced the whole of Eastern culture development. This is all known to everyone. Uh, Chinese traditional painting, because of its long history, it has an influence on the whole um, East Asia's painting. We can call it East Asia painting. Chinese And Chinese traditional painting, um, 
比如这幅那个《复古图》，这是我画的一一一张画。这个《复古图》，它的那个，它的线条，它的包括它的那个那个面部的表情是夸张的。但这种夸张呢，又是中国中国特有的一种符号的一种表现方式。Chinese traditional painting doesn't go for precision or the direct and exact imitation of the nature. Like this painting that I draw, it's called the monk defeating the tiger. Look at his face and the lines. They are an exaggeration of reality, but not the direct and uh, realistic um, expression or representation of a real figure. And this is kind of a, a symbolic um, presentation. From the physical standpoint, I have already shown you the Li Mo technique. 绘画所使用的工具就不具备某些特质，就是画西画的一些特质。And like I introduced before,、uh, the tools that we use in Chinese traditional painting, the brushes, the ink,、uh, the ink stand, and the rice paper, they don't have the qualities that the Western painting use. 就是我们今天来的好朋友里边有好多中国美术专家。嗯 ，the the audience here, uh, there are a lot of uh experts on Chinese art in China. 对，在中国传统绘画当中啊，常常有一个词叫做“墨分五彩”，不知道那个。I don't know whether some of you know this um saying called um ink is divided into five different colors. 墨分五彩呢，不是真正意义上意义上的五种颜色。It doesn't really mean five different colors. 你比如说这一张水墨画，这张水墨画除了人物是彩色的，其他的里边就是说，它不光是五彩，它说是五彩，其实是它的一种水墨的一种延伸。嗯、uh, ，It doesn't really mean the five different colors, but、uh, an extension. Or a differentiation of the combination of water and ink. Take this painting, for example. Except the,、uh, the the person, the character that is drawn in different colors, all others are drawn with ink and water. But you can see the different shades and different layers of color in that. 通过以水来调节，使得墨色分出多种层次。浓墨就是黑，淡墨就是灰色。We use water, combine the water with ink, and then it comes out in different shades and layers of color. Like thick ink is black, and very thin ink becomes gray. 同样是一点墨，随着水的融合，在变换着各种色彩。And this different combination of water and ink can present different things. 其实就是以水墨在表现它上面的浓淡、浓淡，用水墨的浓淡干湿，在表现着一种物象的，像高光啊，啊，像你们这个西方话是怎么说的一种，就是啊，明暗啊，高光和明暗，我不太不太那个这个词汇不太准确。We use the Different combinations of water and ink, like thick ink, thin ink, um, to represent um, like brightness and darkness in Western paintings. 这除了以画家极其高超的艺术功力，也同样需要欣赏者的配合与理解。它是一种互动的，知道吗？它是一种互动。And with a Chinese traditional painting. Interaction between the painter and the viewer. 通过丰富的想象力，去填充，才能体会画作当中的多彩世界。The viewer, the audience, uses his imagination to complement the paintings to to think of more from the painting. So this is a kind of process of interaction. 这就是中国传统绘画对自然的一种表达方式。
express their view of nature. 完全不同于西方大部分传统化的那种写实风格。It's very different from the Western realistic way of painting. 其实是随心所欲的一种方式。It's kind of more freestyle. You painting at your own will. 也是传统中国化对人生哲学的一种表达。And this is also an expression of the traditional Chinese painter's view of life, of world, of everything. 中国画是讲究用线。The Chinese paintings focus on the lines. 对，上面那那一幅作品呢，那是我画了一幅，呃，算是写生写生的一幅那个。On the left is my painting of a a portrait of a lady. 是以墨线为主。It's all composed of ink lines. 就像西方的那种速写，其实也完全不同于西方的速写。It's it looks like the sketches in the West, but it's also different from the Western sketches. 因为它线条里边有好多浓淡干湿，产生好多不同的一种变化。这个线条里边就是。Because there are many layers of differences in the lines. Some are dark, some are light, some are thick, some are thin, and that presents a different. 中国的线应该线条应该是极其复杂，同时又极其简单和概括。The lines in Chinese traditional paintings. Both simple and complicated at the same time, very abstract. Chinese art has some elements, ah, that are actually also in a kind of putting the beautiful things to the audience. But the most important thing is that the artist has to express his thoughts and his life experience, and also express them in every possible way to the audience. The essence of Chinese painting is not only to present beauty to the audience. But also to convey to the audience all the writer, the, the painter's emotions, feelings, and um, his views of the world, his philosophies. This is our Chinese painting. This is the highest goal of the Chinese traditional painting. So, Chinese traditional painting is the first thing to seek the beauty, the second to seek the beauty. So, the first thing that the Chinese traditional painting. Years for is the artistic aura, and then the second is the aesthetic. You say this old man is beautiful. He's not really beautiful. Do you think this old man is beautiful? He's not really beautiful. 一幅好的中国画啊，可以畸形怪状，但绝不可以意境不高。A good Chinese painting can be very strangely shaped. But it has to have a very high and far-reaching artistic aura. This so-called aesthetic is the artist's ever-changing way of creating. And this artistic aura reflects the artist's whole personality and his artistic accomplishments. It includes some literature, history, social standards. His view of the of literature, of history, of philosophy, and his views of the world is a combination of all. So you will see a painter who is trying to study art, study literature, study history, and study philosophy. And therefore, a Chinese painter is trying to study art, study literature, study history, and study philosophy. And therefore, a Chinese painter needs to learn history, literature, study history, and study philosophy. And therefore, a Chinese painter needs to learn history, literature, calligraphy, poetry, writing, etc. And also. And also how to play the musical instruments. He has to gather all kinds of energy to enrich his work. Because he needs to absorb all artists and trainees from every aspect of art. Because Chinese painting is a very big art expression. Any kind of training is impossible to lose. Because Chinese painting is a combination of every aspect of art, so all these different kinds of training is necessary. Chinese painting is very strong. Use poetry to make a perfect artwork. I have talked to you about this before. You know this. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
as I've shown just now, the Chinese painting um, uh, stresses uh, the combination of poetry, calligraphy, painting, and the seal inscription. To inscribe your poems and signature on the painting is like drawing the eye of the dragon. It's very crucial. It's also to structure the whole painting. This is a painting of an old man fishing. And I've uh, put a poem on it. I only fish for fish and not fame. And, uh, and I uh, the inscription occupies a large part of the painting. The goal is that you can to the Lubei, and you can imagine this inscription as weed or rocks or smoke, anything that you can imagine it to be. Uh, for me, Western painting is basically very orderly and very scientific. And this is the difference between Chinese and Western traditional painting, uh, how they paint the nature. All different roads lead to Rome. They all come to the same goal um, to let people see more beautiful things, more beautiful paintings. To me, both Western and Chinese paintings are very attractive. I like them both. They are just like two ladies. You cannot say who is more beautiful or who is 
都美不胜收，都是都会让我沉醉。And they both attract me. <笑>所以就是说，来美国这二十几天以后，我感觉到最开心的就是看到了中国和美国的月亮，同样都是迷人的。都是。So my deepest impression of my stay here in America is that、uh, the moon in America is the same beautiful as the moon in China. <笑>我期待着下次跟大家多多的交流。今天太短了，时间真是，我意犹未尽，真是。My time is limited today, and I hope to communicate with you more in the future. Thank you. Mr. Masterson, that was, I think, a very rich presentation, and one that, in comparison, you know, the other firesides you've had have all been wonderful, but you're. Your uh, interpretation of just the 20 days you've been here, I think, has rich, rich um, implications for your, what you've shared with us. So why don't we take this opportunity to get to know Master a bit more, um, his thoughts about the, the uh, art uh, sector right now in China, and we'll do that maybe in conversation form here. Um, as we set up the chairs here, maybe Haiyin, you can sh um, join us in the middle. Uh, actually, Haiyin can sit there, Master Sun, you can sit here. And then we can start here. And then we'll have a few minutes for a conversation and questions. Um, that's okay. So if everyone can, I'll start off, but, you know, collect your questions and feel free to, to pose them. Um, as a follow-up to your, uh, your, your aspect, I think maybe one question that we all might have is you talk about the characteristics of Chinese art, poetry, um, the calligraphy, and the inscription. And I'm wondering if you share that in many of your pieces, you do have some poetry there. Uh, do you think, without being fluent in the Chinese language, can one fully appreciate the art that you produce? You can absolutely, uh, absolutely appreciate the painting without knowing or understanding the Chinese poem, because the characters, the poem, has become an image that structures and balances the whole painting. So you don't really need to understand the meaning. You can just treat it as subjects, as the images. Suggest that there's been a commercialization of Chinese art, and there have been quite a number of uh, Western media coverage regarding the high prices that Chinese art can command. Um, I'm wondering, um, Master Sun, if you can share um, what you would say to a budding artist in China today. <laughs> Shall I 
If you just go for money, you don't have so much energy to devote to painting to the art itself. Chinese economy has developed for so many years and people mostly have reached a stable uh, economic status that can afford them to do what they wish they want to do, they like to do. It's just um, what you want in life that people have different opinions and different you know, Perhaps the, the Western media is presenting a situation that's not as accurate as Masterson recognizes. Does Masterson feel that there is a commercialization of art? I think it's quite natural that people like good paintings and then you pay more for a good painting and that's also a respect of the, the painter. Let me uh, survey uh, questions from the audience. Yeah, um, please state your name and your affiliation and please ask a question and not a comment. Steve Walterman, uh, what does a master, uh, what does he think of either uh, abstract or non-traditional art, and, and hasn't painted any of that? Uh, you I appreciate, I appreciate the non-traditional paintings and respect the efforts that these painters make, but that's not my direction of development. I have another question, Master Sun. I wonder, um, how did you learn art growing up in Shandong? Were there artists among you? Shandong is quite a, um, a famous place, a hot place for painting. I started to learn painting at age nine. And out of pure curiosity. Extremely fond of it. <laughs> Judy, Judy Alderman, do you have any other family members who are artists as well? My family, some of my family members play the violin or the piano and all these different forms of art. Connected. But not visual arts. Do you prefer to grind your own ink or do you use the liquid ink? Is it still okay to use the <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Uh, I used to write ink myself, but now technology has so much developed that it's pretty, uh, there's pretty much no difference. But some people still grind their own milk just out of uh, uh, self-entertainment. It's like a game. <laughs> uh, it's like the wax. 
The wax dyed clothes used to be a um, um, a necessity that you had to wear, but now it's a kind of art that you wear just for artistic sake, but not for life. Yes, please. Yeah, I think you need to know that the young people are generally. Yeah, she's also from the same age. She's also a student. She thinks that most of the subjects that he draws in his paintings are very unique and she wants to know where his inspirations come from, whether it's from the traditional paintings or from um, people and things around him. Um, artists can never leave the reality. So wherever I go, I always bring my um, sketchbook with me, even if sometimes I don't remember to bring my wallet. <laughs> so I do painting and draw and learn any minute, any moment. Uh, thanks to my country folk. <laughs> yes, please, Rebecca. I had a question about how such paintings can survive over hundreds of years. So uh, when it is just paper and ink rather than oil and canvas, I, I don't know in terms of the, uh, how long they survive. Uh, This is a technical problem that's a little bit beyond me. Uh, we love to draw on the rice paper just because it won't be lost. <laughs> Chinese traditional pictures used to be drawn on silk. But it is only because of the <laughs> but I'm not sure of the technique behind it. Maybe it's kind of a secret, a um, um, technical secret that is preserved in the factory. Master students, many of your images, the paintings that you draw, seem to depict uh, traditional Chinese life. Uh, the, the games, uh, traditional Chinese games, uh, some of the drinking tea uh, opportunities and environments. Uh, I'm wondering, are those from books that you read that inspire that image, or is that still depicted in your environment around you? They are mostly from the books, from the poems and prose and essays that I've read. Some 
没人仰视我，所以就是说，我也是在服用。<笑> A lot of Chinese poems depict such elegant life as drinking tea, chatting, just as what we are doing right now. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Evie Lindemann. So, um, your, many of your paintings have kind of a freshness and a spontaneity to them, and it reminds me a lot of a sort of Zen approach. So, I'm very curious to know if you have any. Um, spiritual or religious tradition or philosophical underpinnings that you bring to your painting? It's kind of a subconscious. I don't deliberately imply Zen Buddhism or anything in that, but I myself am a Buddhist. Uh, it's not intentional. Uh -huh. But it's a natural flow from my inner heart. I want to know the difference between the Chinese sketch and the Western sketch. Uh, in my opinion, the Western sketch doesn't seem to focus much on the lines. Uh, Chinese, uh, in Chinese sketches, the lines seem to be more abstract, trying to represent the figures um, to outline the figures. It's kind of difficult to, to, to tell the difference using one or two sentences. Oh, yes, please. Oh, is it okay to say that the 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 lady just added a comment that on uh, rice paper, you cannot amend any stroke. Uh, whenever there's a stroke, you cannot cover it or delete it or, or modify it. Even if you, you, there's an overlap, you do something on it, you will still leave a watermark on it, and that will be different from the original stroke. And that's just, and as you know, at Yale China, we, we do a lot of uh, work in terms of building mutual understanding of cultures, as well as creating mutual respect uh, for one another. I'm wondering what you see the role of artists can be, and even more so, in Chinese society as China, especially uh, post-opening, China's opening, I uh, what uh, the role of artists um, is in society for that.
I volunteered to engage in the non-profit work of the Chinese and the Western communication and cultural exchange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you see many other artists playing the same role? All artists are very emotional and very romantic. I think most artists, Chinese artists, would like to engage in such a non profit work if the work um, is in some way related with his own artwork. <laughs> Has he ever painted a large painting with several, more than one scene in it? In other words, like a, you know, like a even like the Delacroix in France, it was a big tableau. A huge story. Yes, yeah, a large story. <laughs> You uh, Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, you. I also have a I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a 就是画过这个地方，最大的画作应该是大概能有有多大？有我不知道你们这是用用这个三米呃三米四的车，三米三公尺啊，三米乘乘公里，三米，三公尺啊，三米乘乘公里，三米，三米乘乘公里，三米，
my call still came out. <laughs> that's how the still came out. This is a famous book by the Russian writer called Gorky. How steel came into being, like how uh, hum how a person uh, became uh, a good and useful uh, man. <laughs> So I think a real artist um, can be said to be very stubborn or um, very uh, stick very much to his goal and what he wants in his life. And he'll succeed in the end. Maybe final question from the audience. You're my parents and my friends have been to Yale before, and I've seen the photos that they've taken of Yale of New Haven. And I've also, I've always cherished a very good and nice impression of Yale. So I drew this painting before I came here according to the photos that I've seen of Yale. I don't know if it's true or not, but I... I don't know whether this painting was correct or not, but I show it to the friends who have been to Yale, and they've instantly recognized it as Yale, and I feel very happy about that. So I came here for the second time.